So politics used to have an off season, not so much anymore. There are political ads on our air now, and you are thirsty for the truth about them. Jen emailed in about this just as we were starting the show about 10 minutes ago. Deb and Ricky had asked earlier, everybody wants us to break down that state government health care option ad. For your information, that ad is paid for by a group that's supported by insurance companies and hospitals. Just know that up front. So our Marshall Zellinger dusts off the truth test machine. Just when I thought I could pack the truth test away for, you know, longer than a few months. State politicians want to create a one-size-fits-all government health insurance system. No. You know how you know without me having to show you any additional context? Listen again. Called the state government option. An option is not one-size-fits-all. It's an option. This ad is similar to last year's version, opposing a bill about a state health option that has yet to be officially introduced at the state capitol. Here's how you currently get health insurance. The majority of people get it through their employer. People 65 and older qualify for Medicare. Medicaid is for the people earning less than a specific dollar amount. The individual marketplace, like Connect for Health Colorado, is for people that are not offered employer insurance or for people who make too much to qualify for Medicaid. This bill about a state option targets that last group of people. It gives politicians greater control over your health care. No. Not as an individual. You would still be able to choose where you get your health insurance. However, as a health insurance provider, this bill creates an ultimatum that must be met by the start of 2025. It tells health providers to lower premiums 20% for the people who get their insurance on the individual marketplace. And it forces at least two providers to offer coverage in the individual marketplace in every zip code. Currently, 10 counties lack two options in most zip codes. If that does not happen, then the state would start to offer the Colorado Option Plan. A nine-person board would set rates that health care providers would be reimbursed for specific services. Threatening the coverage you already have and increasing costs. This is a maybe. If health care providers are limited in what they're reimbursed for certain services for people covered by the state option, those health care providers could choose to increase rates on other plans to help make up what they lost elsewhere. Just so you know, one of the reports this ad cites to defend part of this claim was paid for, in part, by Partnership for America's Healthcare Future. That's the group that paid for this ad under the local name Colorado's Healthcare Future. For next, I'm Marshall Zellinger.